Am I the asshole for refusing to pay for my gender reveal cupcakes? IF22 found out last week my first baby's gender. And it's a little girl. My family are excited about I decided to do a small gender reveal over the Easter weekend. I had this planned for Saturday. So a few days before, I asked a small local business if she could please make 12 cupcakes with pink and blue icing on top and pink icing in the middle. She agreed and said they would be ready to collect Friday evening. The plan was to pick the cakes up Friday. Invite friends and family over Saturday and give some guests a cupcake which would reveal the gender. I only invited a few guests as my apartment is fairly small. And I didn't want to do a large gender reveal anyway. Just something cute and fun. Plus, everyone loves cupcakes. So Friday evening came. The small business owner Claire gave me her address to collect the cakes from said they would cost 25 pounds and they are ready to collect whenever. I drove to her apartment and knocked on the door. She greeted me there with the box of cupcakes and they looked amazing. They were exactly how I imagined them and thanked her for them. She gave me the box. But just as she did, her large pet dog came running up to me, barking, and jumped at me, knocking the box of cupcakes all over the floor. Claire apologized and shut the dog inside he was still barking and jumping at the door. She said it's because he gets excited when people come and visit. But he wouldn't have hurt me as he's friendly. At this point I didn't know the damage to the cupcakes as the box landed upside down. I picked it up and the cakes were ruined. The icing had smashed all over the box and some cakes had spilled out onto the ground. Claire looked horrified as I understand she spent a few hours making them for me. She apologized and said she could remake them for free. But they wouldn't be ready until Sunday. I said unfortunately I am expecting my guests tomorrow and Sunday is no good. As I already had other plans. I explained I wouldn't be paying for these cupcakes as they were inedible and ruined by her dog. We agreed payment upon receiving the goods. And since I never received them, I wouldn't be paying. She said that I should still pay as she had to buy ingredients for the cakes and the costs of eggs. Has gone up meaning she would be out of pocket. I said if she had control of her dog, then they wouldn't have been dropped and I am sorry but again, I wouldn't be paying. I got in my car and left without the cupcakes. I still had guests attend on Saturday. I announced the gender in person, rather than with some cupcakes but it was still nice spending time with my friends and family. My family were all happy, but my sister-in-law said I should have still paid for the cupcakes as she accepted it was her fault, and offered to remake them for me. I personally don't think I should have had to pay for them, but now I am feeling slightly guilty as I understand it's a small business and a loss of profit would affect her a lot harder than a larger business. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. She should have put the dog away knowing he gets excited when people visit. Small business or not it's just common sense. Not the asshole she should be a responsible dog owner and have her dog kept elsewhere when guests are coming especially since she openly admitted that he gets excited like that with new people. Not the asshole. Her dog ruined the cupcakes she made for you. That's sad for her. Because it means she can't get paid for them. You don't need to pay her for cupcakes you didn't receive because her dog destroyed them. Not the asshole next time. She'll learn to lock him in a back room when she's making a sale. Don't worry. He's friendly needs to stop being an excuse. There's absolutely no reason for you to have paid for cupcakes you didn't receive. And which were ruined by her dog. Not the asshole why on earth would you need to pay for something you didn't receive? I know it would be nice to help out Claire a little bit if you guys were friends but if this is just some lady then no. Not the asshole. It's a shame and it sucks for her.
but she should be locking her dog up when handing over delicate goods to customers. Especially since she admitted she knows he gets excited when people visit hopefully she learns the lesson for the future. She's out of pocket and lost the cost of ingredients because her dog ruined them. Her offer to remake them for the day after your event is not a solution that works for you and was not what you agreed to. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You did not receive the agreed upon goods due to no fault of yours. You didn't even get that upset it seems just like a oh man. This sucks for both of us. Neither one of us gets what we want out of this transaction. Vibe. Also. Not having her dog secured while conduct business is bad enough. But while conducting business concerning the production of food. That's bad. Not the asshole. Claire needs to keep the dog the cupcakes separate. Not the asshole you didn't get what you paid for. Also. I'm a massive dog lover but wouldn't be happy paying for professional baking if I thought a dog was hanging around the kitchen. Not the asshole. Sorry that happened and I feel a little bad for her too. But maybe this will be a good lesson to put the dog away when customers are coming by. Not the asshole you didn't get the goods that you wanted. Due to her. If my large. Excitable dogs destroyed someone's property I would pay for it. This is no different. It's unfortunate for the both of you. But this is why obedience training is so important. Especially if someone is operating a business out of their home. Not the asshole at all. I'm shocked she even asked for payment after that. Not the asshole and people asking you to pay are entitled loony birds. Just saying. Some people are deathly afraid of dogs. For that reason alone it should have been locked up while doing business. Or the baker should have placed the box in the client's vehicle. Not the asshole because it was her dog. She is the owner so it's her responsibility to keep the dog under control. Not the asshole. She should have been watching the dog. If you had dropped them without interference from the dog. That would be a different story. Not the asshole absolutely do not pay for them. She should have had better control of the dog but because she didn't she allowed him to ruin the cupcakes. They're hers now so is the cost of making them ingredients and all. I'm sorry your gender reveal was ruined. However congratulations. Not the asshole you paid for cupcakes and got nothing. It's her dog's fault so she eats the cost. Not the asshole. I have four dogs. Two large. And I always step outside when receiving items so I don't have to worry about them causing an issue. She should have closed the door or put the dog up. Knowing it gets excited and jumps on people. It's poor etiquette to let a dog jump on someone no matter what the situation is. Especially when food is involved. You shouldn't have animals around. That's why they aren't allowed in restaurants and food stores unless they are service dogs who are trained. 